Bonjour, nous continuons à interviewer les personnalités francophones qui sont à Yerevan en marge du 17e sommet de la francophonie. Notre invité est Paul Kagame, président du Rwanda. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur Kagame, on sait que vous êtes président de l'Union africaine. Alors, quelle est la voie de l'Afrique d'aujourd'hui Et donc, on sait que l'Arménie a des relations avec l'Union européenne et l'Union eurasiatique. Donc, est-ce que l'Arménie peut être un pont de dialogue entre votre pays et entre le reste Africa. It's very diverse. It has many countries, about 56 countries as a continent. But they are increasingly coming together, uh, united around a common purpose. Africans have many similarities, uh, challenges, opportunities. And we want to integrate more, speak with one voice, and that uh, influences how we relate to the rest of the world as well. So I'm sure Armenia uh, has uh, entrance to the continent. Uh, first, the way it might relate to uh, individual countries of our continent, uh, and uh, by that uh, it becomes part of a relationship Uh, that links Armenia uh, to Africa as well. So in the same setting uh, that you have, uh, Armenia has with uh, Europe and has with Asia, it is possible to have it with uh, Africa. And in, in which way? It, it is to be determined by Armenia itself. Uh, what does it want mm. or what does Africa want with uh, in relationship with Armenia, and I said there are different countries. Uh, in Africa, bilateral relations are uh, encouraged, are a possibility, but as well as with this unified continent, it relates with uh, many other continents uh, as well. So how Armenia fits into that is something that uh, can be worked on either side. Vous êtes venu en Arménie pour la première fois euh, pour le sommet de la francophonie. Quelles sont vos expectations euh, du sommet de la francophonie et en général euh, de l'organisation internationale de la francophonie Vous avez une candidature qui est assez forte. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire à ce propos-là In fact, it is my first time to be in Armenia, as you rightly said. Uh, it's also my first time uh, to attend a, a Francophone summit, much as my country has been a member of uh, Francophonie uh, for, from the beginning, when the organization started. So I'm happy to be here in Armenia, attending also the Francophone summit, and uh, in, even for another reason uh, that indeed uh, Rwanda has a candidate to become the Secretary General of the Francophonie. Uh, and uh, it's, it, she's not just a candidate of Rwanda, she's also a candidate of uh, the African continent because the African continent uh, endorsed her as a uh, Uh, the candidate for Francophonie, uh, Secretary General. So the chances are, are very high that uh, she will be elected to the Secretary General position. It's not only Africa that has supported her, it's also uh, the rest of the Francophonie. She enjoys uh, uh, the majority support. So in most cases, this is going to take her through. Um, and of course, Francophonie, as I mentioned, we are part of it for since the beginning. Yeah. And um, in fact, we belong to both, like either we belong to Francophonie, we also belong to the Commonwealth. 
just as uh, Canada does and uh, a number of other countries. There are many countries here present that belong to many organizations uh, like that. Uh, so when an organization like that uh, is built around values, uh, and on these values they build relationships, they build uh, economic, social, political, diplomatic uh, understandings, and uh, this is uh, uh, the importance of growing such organizations, and that is what they serve. Qu'est-ce que ça va donner à votre pays si Madame Louise Mouchikivabod vient la secrétaire générale de la francophonie? When Louise Mouchikivabod is elected uh, to be the secrétaire générale de la francophonie, uh, she no longer uh, just belongs to Rwanda. She belongs to francophonie as a family country. So. Uh, she won't be serving uh, Rwanda as her country. She will be serving Rwanda as uh, a member of the Francophonie together with others. Th this is what we do. But indeed, uh, each member is actually supposed uh, to contribute to the success of the Secretary General, which means the success of the Secretary General is the success of the organization of Francophonie. So it is in every country's interest uh, to support whoever is in this position. Uh, so we will very strongly uh, support her, uh, bearing that in mind, that we are not uh, just supporting a Rwandan uh, whom we fronted as a candidate, but we will be supporting her to support Francophone's well-being, so that we continue to uh, develop the organization and therefore benefit the members of the organization. Uh, it, it is only in this manner that uh, we wish to see it uh, go forward. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pre President. And uh, your message to Armenian public? Oh, the Armenian public, uh, we would say, first of all, thank you to the hospitality that we have enjoyed since we uh, arrived here. Uh, also happy uh, to learn uh, about the country, the culture, the history, uh, which seems to be from what we have seen or from what I have read, a uh, very rich uh, culture and history. Uh, therefore, Armenia has a lot to offer. Uh, not only to itself, but to others as well. And in this case, uh, we can see that benefiting Francophony uh, as a wider community of, of this world we live in. Thank you. Uh, thank you for accepting our invitation, Mr. President. Notre invité était Paul Kagame, président du Rwanda.